She went to grab something and you went to grab something. Cock. Cock. Let's do comedy podcast. Podcaster, let's do it. Podcast, dude, I want to start off something strong, strong, just like my penis. You have a strong penis? Are they strong? Um, It's just blood. Well, no, we've seen some people like hold up like heavy things with cocks. And you'll see it again right now. Hold on. You're about to. Hold on. Yep. I'm ready. No, I just wanted to, I, I, I did a thing I was excited to share with you because this is right up your alley. Foursome. No, I wish. All right. But I only got two hands. I can only have a threesome. Hold up. Um, <laughs> no, I <laughs> I was watching a porn the other day. And it was a goth porn. And Dude, I what? I loved it. Fucking loved it. I don't she had like 19 different oh! color. Dude, she had like 19 different color hair. She looked like yep. fucking she looked like Takashi 69. Yep. She was riding a dildo that was glued onto a MacBook Pro. I mean, it might have been a MacBook Air. I don't really know her financial circumstance, but it was so hot. Yes. I don't know. Fishnets? Yes. Why did why did Fishnets never oh do anything for me? I I I'm so happy right now. I can't Dude, even explain I, to you. I almost came and then just put that cum in an envelope and sent it to you and be you like, should've. guess what? Express mail it. Yeah. Yes. Hot topic. Hot, hot topic. topic. Let me tell you something, a goddamn story. Yes! Hot! Hot! Dude, it's so goddamn hot. But because you look at in the eyes and they you know they don't have a father. And that's hot. <laughs> well. Well, hold up. You know they but, don't. But I will say this. What? I think it was because in my head, what I what the type of goth porn that you are watching. Zombie. Dead. <laughs> hot. Hot. They have blood coming down their mouth. Is it real? Who knows? They have uh, vampire wings on. Could be Merlot. Yup. But she, she maybe just her body type was more like what I go for. She it had an ass. She was gothic. Title hey. it, put it, up, put it on merch. Gothic. Oh, I love it. Has anybody done that? Put nope. it on a t-shirt. Gothic with four C's. But it, bro, it was like she uh, just her body type. Yep. And then she had like so bl- it was like black hair, like dark hair, and then like green bangs. Oh. I yeah. might even just be doxing who this girl is. Doesn't matter. I dude, it, it was the Little porn was so tattoos? good. The porn. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if she had skin on. Doesn't matter. The porn was so hot, I wrote her name down in my phone. That's like, weird. No, it's not. Cut it. Because I want to watch more <laughs> later. No, I know. No, I actually think I know who you're talking about. Really? Yeah. No, I was, because in my phone, I wrote down like my favorite like uh, porn stars or like names. You know what's so funny is people like actually write who they fuck in their phone. You just write porn stars. How so, many are on that list? Five. They're all they're all Reddit people because they don't have okay. like normal names. Yeah. It's right, not like right, Ashley okay. Ames. It's like zero 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 forty four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't you. know. I but it would. But I dude, I'll pull it up right now. I'm gonna go fuck. We pull to, it up. Do, should I? What do you mean should? <laughs> Trevor Wallace is on tour and the <laughs> tour <laughs> starts. Are you that guy? Ba ba ba. Part two kicking off in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, baby. September 30th, October 1st, Charleston, South Carolina. We added a late show Boom. and I forgot to promote it, but I'm doing it now, bitch. Then we got the next night, October 2nd, Asheville, North Carolina also added a second show. Boom, boom, boom. Get those. Phoenix, Arizona, uh, October 8th, I think is sold out. San Francisco, we added the 14th. Boop, boop. The 14th and 15th, October, Houston, Texas, November 4th through the 6th, Grand Rapids, Michigan, November 11th, Indianapolis, November 12th, Cleveland, Ohio, November 13th, Salt Lake City, November 18th, Boulder, Colorado, December 8th, Fort Collins, December 9th, Oklahoma City on December 10th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, December 11th, New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th, Atlantic City, New Jersey, December <clears throat> 17th, Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th. Trevor Walsh Comedy for tickets.com. Go get him, guys. Mr. Michael Blaustein on Stand Up Comedy Tour. September 22nd, I will be in Madison, Wisconsin. That is this freaking Thursday. I think there's about 10 tickets left, so go get them right now. Uh, September 23rd, I'll be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Low ticket uh, warning on that one. October 7th, Los Angeles, California. Ooh, that is sold out. We're thinking about adding a show, but we will come back to you. Um, October 16th, I'll be in Denver, Colorado. October 20th, I'll be in Honolulu. October 27th to the 29th this is a new date. I'll be in Portland, Oregon. October 27th to the 29th. Um, November 2nd, I'll be in Houston, Texas. November 3rd, I'll be in Dallas, Texas, November 16th. I'll be in Florida doing Fort Lauderdale. And there's a new date, new date. I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky, November 18th to the 19th. Go get tickets at blowcomedy.com. That is blowcomedy.com. Gabe, hit him with the splat.
But I I got one off to it. Thank God you goth one off to it. That's really hot. Whoa. Thank you. Podcast. <laughs> Even if we don't show it, I want to know the name. I want to look him up. Oh. Oh. Oh, bring show it the name. Bring it up. Let's get it on. What is it? Batwoman 689? I think so. Bring it up. Hot. Gothic. Dude, the fishnets, dude. Fishnets. I'll catch some fish in those goddamn nets. Dude, but like her... her <clears throat> Her like, <laughs> no, her Reddit name isn't like a normal name. Oh, what is it like? Pac-Man Jones? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let me see if I can. There's like numbers, there's letters, there's Thank alphabets. You, Jack. I don't know, sports. What is it? Is it in your phone? Copy paste. Oh, hold on. There we go. I mean, it's in like Brick, give me it. Give me the phone. Just scroll around. I will. Yeah. Sorry, my phone's a little sticky. It doesn't matter. Semen. I'm not into this. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm trying to come over to your world. And I'm trying to compliment the dark ghouls you be fucking. Yeah, but this is not. Off to. But the, she look at her other photos. She, okay, because she looks like she's just just sort of becoming goth. She's like, oh, it's so. What so do you want me to dive head into the gargoyles? Spooky season. You want me to start diving like, into the Smeagol bitches, dude. I want if you're like spooky season. No, that's not a real thing. I need you to fucking deep throat a Bible. That's what <laughs> I want. <laughs> that's uh. Quite the inanimate object. What? Well, yeah, oh. let me find a different yeah, photo. Yeah, this is a, this is. I don't want the only fan. This is farmersonly.com. Whoa! What if it was? It was just a tr just a black uh, tractor. Uh, I, Instagram. Can you do the Instagram? Uh, hold on, I'm hard. Are you rock <laughs> hard? You're literally not even. Well, typing no, with your I'm hands. looking. I'm trying to see. Oh, it's just a bunch of reuploads. Anyways, is the Instagram on here? Oh, it is. Yes. Yes. Jack, are you guessing? Oh, I saw, oh, I saw Jack. You about to fucking thought, blow your guessing. mind and load. This is. Do you ever hit the Google search after you jerk off? To I hit the oh. fucking pillow when I jerk off. Asleep, <laughs> put me down. What do you mean Google search? Like, see how tall they are. See how what the fuck is a Jack? How tall a microphone. What did you just say to me? <laughs> how tall they are. So I can't. Smooth. Oh, I'd like to know if they're a Leo or a Sagittarius. Why would you do that after? Jack, you're a loser. Why you're off the you? show. We need a new social media guy. <laughs> this guy you? wants to know our Dude, fucking ring no, size. No, is no, fucking no, no. Loser. You're gonna <laughs> look. Here, because it's it, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's okay. That's what I'm now saying. Now we're back. Back yeah. on. Yeah. Back. She's wearing a school outfit. Back to school. Back on. Oh, oh. This picture. There we go. Oh, hey. See, I wonder what's under that skirt. Just a bat. Let me lick it. This is insane. This is crazy. What in the hell? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You but can... I felt like I, I, I was like, why, why haven't I been dabbling in this? This is insane, dude. Oh, my God. Tattoos, different colored hair. Yeah, she's a demon. Let's fucking go. She about to drop a mixtape on SoundCloud. Oh. This bitch is Lil Pump's sister. Dude, Lil Pump. I'll give her a Lil Pump. That's a small dick joke. That's a sexual reference. I will. What is Lil Pump doing right now? Uh, He's probably doing ketamine off a of fucking Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, she's doing the cross eye thing. What the hell is that? I don't know. Dudes are so stupid. It's called a Wego. I don't, I don't know what it First is. First of all, it's weird that you know that. No, oh, is it, dude? Well, you you didn't know that? No, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. All right, yeah. What is you're back on. What is oh, it called? Oh, oh, Omegle. Oh, we go. Oh, we go. Oh, we go. Just stop. Oh, we go. Somebody oh, say it. Somebody say it. No, uh, because I know some OnlyFans girls that I've like done videos with. Not like that. Hold on, my cocks in my pants. <laughs> They've been in sketches. And a he go. There it is. Where it is. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody help me. Yes. Your microphones are in. And you have yeah. But she does it. And no she, one's yelling at anything. But she does it. And then the comments are like, I wish I was one of those eyes. You know, it's funny. If you cover one of the eyes, it looks like she's looking away. She is looking away. She's trying to find her father. What? Oh, no. What? Okay. But what is it Hold about on. that? I'm not going to do it. Do or, it. I almost did it. Do it. I forgot how the internet I'll works. I'll do it. Because then people can screenshot it and zoom it on your face. Well, people have seen <laughs> on, doing that on the internet already. Let me see yours. No, you got to <laughs> watch mine. Mine's pretty good. Thumbnail. No, you got to cross eye. Cross eye, look up a little bit. Look you up. Look, no, I don't want You look, all right. Hot? I know. Gabe did it. Let me see, Gabe. Whoa. Gabe's right. is hot. Gabe doesn't have a camera for a reason. Okay. Um, I, I don't know your passcode. I want to look more. 6969. That girl's crazy. Um, in but the that's what I'm saying. Like, that's up your alley. Like, yeah. oh, like, oh, hello. Oh, I, that's fish that nets. Like. Oh. Dude, she literally looks like that she would light your car on fire because you were flirting with an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'll sit in that fucking car. I don't give a shit. Turn on the heater. God, she's... Uh, I mean, that's crazy. But that's just like... That's not usually... I don't know. I, I just... it. I just stumbled across it. Yep. The, How did you stumble across it? I think I typed in goth. Just to see? 
Yeah. You were just feeling a little weird? Well, I was looking for tattoo inspirations. Okay. I was hard. No, yeah. I um no, I don't know. I don't I think I think in my head I was just like, oh, you know, and then just I just see what's happening. Just poke around. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you walk into the wrong hour of the grocery store and you're like, do do I keep walking? Do I hit a U turn? I kept walking. You know what I typed in recently kept just cocking. to see what it was? Is there you know there's porn out there that the girl has a Sex. POV camera? <laughs> 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 Talking about the four women tab on Pornhub? <laughs> What is her POV? <laughs> Michael, what is her POV? It did, it's just a guy on the chest going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It didn't do anything oh, for me, yeah. but I just wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like a guy role-playing that he's taking a bubble bath. It just, oh. It wasn't. Dude, there was what something. What do you mean? There's something. <laughs> what do you mean? Pull it up. No, I want to see. Got, hey, listen to some Where of these titles. This is on Pornhub. This yeah. is if when you search female POV on Pornhub, this is the first title. Jerked off to a guy and jumped on his big cock. Yeah. Stepsister loves sloppery slop slobbery blowjob and come in mouth female POV. Does she? Does she? For the right Pull it up. What I want to see what the view is. It's it's where, where do they put it? Their foreheads? It's can, not it's not. I understand how it could be desirable, but it's a little you weird. Yeah, that watch one. This? That I, watched, I watched that one Michael. For, like, for like 15 seconds. The, the, the top left one. Also, look at that ad. I live alone. Let's fuck at my place. Uh, <laughs> no, not that one. Dude, it's literally that just one. the guy one, piping. It's the guy piping. I understand what it was. I just wanted to see what they see. It's kind of a nice view of the titties. That one. Which one? Did you know which one you watched? The one that's playing right now. This one's you a watch computer that one? generated yeah. one. Too. There it is. What the fuck are these Sims doing? <laughs> what the hell is that? Dude, when you're not horny, porn's so dumb. Single moms. No, you're not. Watch your kids. Yeah, I saw this one. I what? saw this one. No, you didn't. Sir. For real? I didn't. I'm not making this up. I watched this one. Oh, I fast forward. This is a bullshit. I want to see this cock. <laughs> Look at this bullshit one. There it this is. That's like what I watched. This looks like in VR. What is this? This looks like a fucking this ad you get see. for a but free this is app. What they see. This Isn't looks that like wild? you just downloaded some fucking shit place to like download YouTube videos yeah. on your phone. And then they this made, just starts They made flying. this an in InShot. <laughs> yes. All right. I mean, when I got to that part, I was out. I want to see real cock, not this dumb shit. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with you watching that, but I, you know, what's up? I was literally. Where are we at? I, here's the thing. I was just. Are you getting pegged or not? Yes. I was just interested. <laughs> I was interested in just like you wanted women. the full 360. I just wanted to see what they see. I'm just interested to see like what women see when they when they pipe when they get piped down. You never filmed yourself having sex? Yeah, but not in. I'm I'm panning down to see what but, I see. But you I want to see what they see. I've never had a girl hold it. No. Mm. Have you? No. Oh, but, yeah. but I put a camera where I could see the both of us. Yeah, but the both of you is like a like a like a wide shot. I'm saying yeah. like what they actually see. Like if a girl uh, held it as she was like giving me the old H E A D, but I never I've never seen what they saw. And I'm gonna be honest, ladies, thank you for fucking us because we look disgusting. Yeah, you ever, dude. There's like positions where I'm in where I'm like leaning over my girl and like it. It's not. There's no way it looks good. You know, how like if you like lean down, you have that like line in your head because you're like mm -hmm. all the blood. It's like that's what they see 99 percent of the time when they're getting piped down. They must yeah. just be thinking about like the nice stuff that we do for them emotionally. Because there's no way it does anything for or them. Or other men. That, yeah. <laughs> My girl always says, hut, hut, hike. All the Interesting. Time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. NFL. There you go. Yep. But maybe, what is that? Are they closing their eyes because they're? it feels good? They're fantasizing what you look like in a tuxedo? No. Another man? Another man. Adam Levine? That. Topical. It is topical. What's he doing? He's trying horny? to name his kid, his, his, his side chick's name. Hilarious. Interesting play. Funny. I don't know. Did, did he get like a tax write-off to name of that? I don't know why you would want to associate the two. I think that's a dude that no one said no to for 30 years. And he just I like, mean, look, I heard Sunday morning does. once by Maroon 5, and I I'd was like, beat. you can touch my left areola. Sunday morning? Have you never heard that song? No, I have. I'm just repeating it because it's such a good song. Sunday morning, I will Oh, fuck yeah, you. yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is in there. Sorry. Honey. Sunday morning, rain yeah, yeah, falling. Yeah, yeah. God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good part. That song that, reminds I, me of like day drinking. Okay. Yeah. Sunday I, morning. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by Santa Monica. You don't even know where you're at. Oh, dude. I mean, that voice is great. He is really good. He has ADD. He takes Adderall. 
Does he? I don't know. He says it on the TV. <laughs> on the TV? On the TV. What in an interview? No, oh, like he does ads. He's like, man, I'm ADD and I can play guitar. And so can you. All you gotta do is take this, a drug that I'd probably get six percent of. Mm. I think it's just I think it's just Adderall. Adderall has ads? It's it's Adderall or v- one of the Vivans? Vivans. They do maybe. ads? I don't Who the know. fuck's doing ad reads for Adderall? We should. We should. Oh my god. Dude, we could do fucking ad reads Man. for Adderall and just take a little bit on this guy. What? Huh? Dude, my dick looks tiny on Adderall. I don't even have a dick. <laughs> that bitch goes into hibernation. Dude. In sport mode? No. My boy locked up. My Locked my, up abroad. Son. Storage wars. Whoa. Let me tell you a secret. I look like a fucking Ken doll. I'm like, hey, where's my Barbie? Doesn't matter. God damn. Oh, what's up, people? Big shout out to our first sponsor of the mother effing episode, Prize Picks. Dude, football season is back. Trev, you excited? No, you don't watch sports. I'm I excited. am excited. You are? Yeah. Dude, are you going to use Prize Picks? Probably, because I'll tell you what Prize Picks is. It's freaking daily fantasy, but super, super easy. For example, dude, next week, I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes and 250 yards. That's the projection. I'm going over, dude. Dude, well, yeah, well, I'm taking Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're going to go over or under the projected .5 touchdowns? I'm going over. You should, dude. Derrick Henry, he's going to score 48 touchdowns. That's what I was thinking. Prize Picks is incredible, dude. Um, I've used it last week. Um, super simple. The app is incredible. Very intuitive. Um, all you got to do is pick two to five players and if they will score more or less than their prize pick projections, okay? You can win up to 10x your money on any Dang, dude, entry, dude. What, uh, on your entry? That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It is that simple, dude. But it's Sa- more than just NFL. Do you know that? Is it? It's also... NHL, PGA, Whoa. college football, Whoa. men's college basketball, women's college basketball, soccer, WNBA, NASCAR, tennis, MMA, boxing, disc golf, Euro basketball, cricket. Wireless. Nope. Cricket. Oh, just cricket. The okay. Game. All right. Motherfuckers be waking up and playing cricket. Wild. I'm them. You ever eaten a cricket? Me Twice. either. Whoa. Currently operated in over 30 states and Canada. Download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports first time users can receive a hundred percent instant deposit matchup to a hundred dollars with promo code socks promo code socks dude 100 percent instant deposit match up to 100 dollars. whoa so if you deposit 100 dollars, prize picks will give you 100 dollars. if you deposit 50 prize picks will give you 50 we know how math works there we go anyways don't forget to enter promo code socks, socks. at sign up for an instant deposit match up to 100 dollars. 100 dollars. prize picks God damn. So, <laughs> you probably heard of microdosing, have you? Yep. Yep. Dude. If not, okay. just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. I am. Dude, I did some last night. And? Got, got some more focus, I'll tell you what. What'd you focus on? Cock. <laughs> <laughs> From the women's POV. Woman's POV. It's so fire, dude. You're an idiot. But look, what? microdosing is the future, dog. That's right. We're talking about microdose gummies. And today they're sponsoring our podcast. They really do taste and feel amazing. I've used them to help me get in the zone. zone. When doing creative work or at night, wind down, chill down, crank one out, sleep like a baby, whatever, dude. All around, they're 10 out of 10 for me. And also, dudes and dudettes, they deliver a perfect entry-level dose of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. I've said this before. I'll say it again. When I do THC, I get way too skyscraper high, and I get uncomfortable. I get awkward. I can't go to parties. Can't leave my house. So this microdosing is incredible for Dip me. Dip toe in the water. There you go. Toes. I like feet. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and use code Socks to get the free shipping and 30% off your first order. Dog, what? You get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Use promo code Socks. Okay, go to microdose.com. Use promo code Socks. Links can be found in the show description. But again, that is microdose.com and code Socks. Microdose.com. Literally the easiest website. Just go on there just to see how easy the website is. Just go peruse. God damn. Barbie don't got no pussy either. Do they have kids? (laughs) Do we? No, just like the Barbie and Ken, do they have kids? Yeah. Oh, have you seen Ryan Gosling as uh, Ken? Yeah, he has bleached hair, right? Yup. Which we're going to do very soon. Very soon. Do I audition for a role in that movie? I tell you guys this. You did. For Frat Guy 1 and 2? Didn't book either. How the How the fuck? hell? I was literally just pl- promoting Adderall. I am the frat guy. That's crazy. 
Every t- I told you I was supposed to be on American Pie 3, right? And my no. stupid ass manager passed Maybe. it. Maybe. I think I told you. Oh, you did. Long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Still makes you upset. How you going? Yeah, I know. He passed without telling me. Would you have to fuck a pie? Excuse me? I would have fucked a pie for the world, sure. Do people be doing that? Yes. I don't think it's made up. I think people be putting their dicks in a lot of things. I think I'd rather put my dick in a pumpkin pie. That seems more uh, lush. It's all one texture. Pumpkin yeah. pie is just... Yeah. You want something that's got a little bit of... Bumps and grinds? Not pecan pie, but maybe apple. Once they get a little melted, a little texture. I don't think... Yeah, I'm vagina. banned from a lot of uh, cheesecake factories, but 100%. that's fine. Have you ever had cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory? Nope. Me either. I've had salads and that's it. I, Actually, no. a breakfast talk was there in Syracuse one time. Fire. Pretty good. Yep. But I've never seen anybody order cheesecake there. Have you? I have. I've seen it to go. But yeah, like, I've seen it to go too. Like at a table. Like right. that's crazy. Oh, we'll take one of the double Dutch dark chocolates. Cheesecake is insanely good. Is cheesecake good. just cheesecake? Run that back in your own head. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know how like if yeah, birthday yeah. cake is not made with birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want something with that. Cup. Hold on. Cupcakes are just cakes in a cup. Yep. I feel like we're going to get clipped and put on TikTok and it's going to be like, this is podcasting these days. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Whoever posts that shit, you work at Zales. Is Zales a jewelry place? Who yeah. cares? Yeah, it is. I mean, but you know what I mean? Leave, us, just, leave us alone. You're going to a shopping center and just see a store and you're like, y'all are still kicking? Yeah. TJ Maxx wakes up every day. <laughs> Time to be TJ and Max. Is Kmart a thing? No, they're not. Every done. time you walk in there, I'm like, they who just raided. Molotov cocked this entire place? That's how I feel every time. That, Ross, TJ Maxx. Right uh, Marshalls. Rydles, Marshalls. Marshalls is wild. Marshalls, I want to like get an employee and be like, if I throw water on you, will you malfunction? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a Michael's? <laughs> Michael's Arts and Crafts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Place is fire. Place they is got, great. They got uh, good pencils and, and the plants are fake. It's fun. It is. That that place. I just did it. An ad read from my We're doing it for everyone. Zales, use 10% off promo code fuck yourself. Dude, if you. If you <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you buy a wedding ring for your future wife at Zales. <laughs> it happens every day. What do you mean? Y'all getting divorced in three years. Oh, no. Zales. I'm fucking crazy. Do people do it all the time? What's wrong with Zales? Zales probably got some heaters in there. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Let's see. Pull it up. <laughs> Fucking Zales. What's the most expensive one? Twenty eight dollars. <sighs> no, they've got some rings over. What, what, what are what are <laughs> rings that women hate? It's like the pear shaped ones or some shit. Uh, the ones or, that made of I would surf, be surf, sapphire. So these are no, uh, oh, those do look. Do, those do look. There's one. That, there's one option. Look at that. This says uh, go down, Gabe, real quick. It says no stone. That's what I'm getting. No stone. <laughs> oh. Where's my diamond? No, I bought it under the no stone category. No, I bought one of the no stone ones. What? Whoa, purity rings? What are these? Purity rings just mean you won't fuck. Yes. Yeah, but I, I mean, the amount of people who is, lay it down with a ring. All you gotta on. do is just take it off. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> They've got rings you can do from shot by price. He is. Is that a word? Yo, yeah. Google cock rings. <laughs> <laughs> you can go over five thousand dollars. Wait, they have cocktail rings. Hold up. You go over five thousand? Yeah. What are we talking? Oh, twelve k. Twenty. Twenty two. Twenty two. I don't know how much wedding rings are supposed to be. Like, are there? I mean, obviously, there's, you know there's, that are wet, crazy. there's there's wedding ring bands. There's more rings than the ring. Yeah, this whole thing's a scam. Does pressure really make diamonds? No. <laughs> Zales does. <laughs> But isn't it cold? Dude, the pressure whole, it is a diamond. The whole diamond industry is hilarious. You know, diamonds aren't rare. They're not rare. <laughs> They're not. They just put them all in a warehouse and be like, yeah, there's not a lot. What is that? A Dude, silicone? Those are cock rings. Silicone for, bands. Yeah. You know what's bullshit? A silicone band? Is for a Bitch, dude. That's a water bottle cap. <laughs> you literally just looked in the small princess by Arrowhead. <laughs> Oh, man. Zales is so funny. Zales. Oh, hold up. What's this? Chess- Have you guys heard about this? This is a no? scandal that's rocking the oh! rocking the world. Read it out yeah. loud. Chess world rocked by rumors of anal beads and artificial intelligence. Well, how come, how come we're doing this not playing chess? Parcheesy. What is that? Anal beads. What is this? So there's a, Look a at chess. Look at that to the right. A chess <laughs> grandmaster. This guy right here. That's Michael Costa. Carlson. Um, there's rumors going around that he was cheating in a big chess competition using wireless anal beads and someone, uh, wireless anal beads, signaling him the, the codes using vibrations in his ass to what next move he should make playing chess. Realistically, man, that's so much work. 
just get better at chess. You're getting fingered in your ass. Yeah, to make there's got to be a better because what's the payout on a game at chess? Three dollars in a ring from Zales. Three hundred and fifty k. Really? Mm-hmm. Three hundred fifty k. Who is putting that much money down on this? That's a good question. Where is that money coming from? Because it's not like it's got TV so, money. So wait, somebody who's good at chess is watching him play and then fucking yes. buzzing his ass. Yeah. But you know what's really weird is like, how come the dude who's buzzing, how come he don't just play? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I think that there's you if you know. There's like, I guess, math you can do because chess has a finite amount of moves, right? Like there's certain things you can do. So you're probably just inputting like the state of the game into a computer and it tells you this is oh, the most efficient. Oh, I next move to make. Yeah, because yeah, um, they thought that computer people could never beat chess masters and then it, then it just started happening. So, yeah, if they have a, a computer program to tell him where to go, that makes so total sense. How do they know he had that in his ass? Each move, he's like, oh, 100 <laughs> percent. He's like, the game hasn't even started yet. He's like, oh, fuck. Knight to Rook 7? You know the lingo. So rook 7? S- sort of. I mean, it's made it up. It sounds, it, they, they, that's what they say. You I don't play at right. Central Park, don't you? Dude, those guys, about, are, those guys are good. What is it about chess being played outside? Who was playing inside and they're like, you know what? <laughs> I think the people who play outside don't have uh, homes. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they do because they're usually like older men. No homes. Doesn't matter. So chess, you know how to play chess? Do I know how? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> That's 100% true. You barely know your colors. <laughs> um, I can't no, believe but I pretend to be colorblind as a child. But it is, this is very funny. Yeah, so, so just, it, you know, this is totally how alleged. How not come? Yeah, I mean that's this is there's no actual evi- there's no actual evidence of this. Um, this guy actually the guy that we showed Carlson. This isn't the guy that's alleged to have the beads in. You well, that, that is fucked because he doesn't look that that happy about it. He would be happier if he had beads in right there. Yeah, that looks like the he, battery died. He quit because some this other guy won this competition that he was uh, favored to win, okay. and then tweets started coming out. Other people playing competitively really were like. Whatever, like the way that that guy was playing was suspicious. He had to know something. Like he was probably cheating. That guy did admit to cheating twice previously in different chess matches. And then so people were just trying to like figure out, well, how could he have done it? Because we know it wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't. Wasn't going to the bathroom. He didn't have an earpiece in. The only logical thing is he was getting signals sent wirelessly through beads in his butt. I mean, that is a so wild. There's no jump. proof. It's just like allegedly type beat. Right now, it's just an alleged thing. Although I think he did. Um, no, that suspended. guy has anal beads in. Look at that guy. Whoever that guy is, Elon. <laughs> Look at that. He is a walking anal bead. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead, Gabe. Um. So yeah, he's he's denying it. The silence of my critics clearly speaks for itself. If there was real evidence, why not show it? Well, yeah, because it's covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. It's really, imagine writing an article on this. I mean, Jesus Christ! Imagine having an anal beat in and not coming. I mean, are you kidding me? Also, it'd be so funny if you like won the match and sit up and like just fucking two balls are clank clank on the ground. Oh no, those are my those are my. What are those things that you in your hand? You go like this to relieve stress. A stress ball. Yeah, he's like, those are my stress balls. What are those things? Bow wow balls or something. What Bow the wow? hell did you say? Jack, that's strike two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What are they really called? Bow wow balls? <clears throat> little little bow. What wow? are the magnetic ones that we always have at the 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 mall? You can play with and they would like the little little metal ones, and you can make different shapes with them. And yeah, they can yeah, stick yeah. to each other. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Did I tell you I saw a guy playing with a boomerang recently? No, a fucking... boomerang, and he wasn't in in Australia. No, this was in Santa Barbara. He's playing with himself with a boomerang. One of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. That is sad. I mean, the boomerang in, was invented by someone with no friends. Like yeah. he was like, "Damn, I want to play catch." Hey, Tim, do you want to play catch? And Tim was like, "Go fuck yourself." And he was like, "I'll show you." And then sat in the basement for seven years and created something he could throw, and it comes back to him. That's loser activities. I, like I wanted to hate, but I was more so captivated that it does work. Bitch came back. Bitch no. is loyal. Boomerangs be loyal. Damn. He was like, "All right, I'll see you in like five minutes." <laughs> come back. Did he throw it real far? Yeah. How the hell does it come back? I have no idea. I don't know when it decides to turn around. I don't know when it's like, <laughs> we're done. You know when you go for a long walk on the yeah. beach and you're like, okay, up to that rock and we'll come back. You know what's bullshit is when you walk, you have to come back. All the time. What the hell's that? On a treadmill, you don't. <laughs> Do you like treadmills? No. I, I, dude, I, I work out on a treadmill like a fucking PTSA mom. Like, a PTSA mom? 
PTA? 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 Yeah. What I say? PTS. Post traumatic. Yeah. Stress mom. Yeah. Yep. I I put the I just put it on a high incline and then I just walk and like listen to a podcast because you sweat. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, all right. your glutes you can work your ass out a bit. I thought you'd talk shit about that. No, that's fine. I've seen you do it. I think yeah. it's a workout. If you get if you get a sweat in, I think it's great. Get a sweat in, dude. Um, yeah, I, I like those. I guess I just like being in one place after you know. Yeah, that's the that was the worst thing about the hike. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you, you hike all the thing, run, and yeah, and you're like sitting, you're like fuck, I come back. Well, yeah, you're pushing yourself on a hike, not realizing you have to come back. So you're like. Oh, we finally made it. Did you? Life has just begun. The journey starts now. I'm Gandalf. <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> I wonder what company has a worse slogan. I mean, honestly, McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? There's one that's part of their slogan is ba da ba ba ba. You have a trillion dollars, and your slogan is didn't Pharrell write it or somebody random. Not random, but like somebody. Uh, the dude who it. owned like good music. What's his name? Pusha T. Yeah, Pusha yeah, T. Pusha Didn't T's. he say that he did it? Yeah, he says he did. There's, it's uh, disputed, but he it's funny. He did. You can just say things. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? I wrote it. Did you? I did. Insane. Check it out. It's on Wikipedia. Trevor Wallace wrote the McDonald's theme song. You know amper stamps? I invented those. Who? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Speaking of running, you know the cutest thing in the entire world, dude. My uh, my nephew, who's six years old, started running cross country. And my sister sent me like what? videos and stuff of him At running cross six? country. Dog, you know what's wild is the meat was massive, and my sister's like showed me a video of like the start, like, starting line. And do you know anything about cross country at all? Cool. So there's a <laughs> like just it, they start on this like massive line. It's not like uh, it's there, there's there's probably like 70, 80 kids all in a line. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear to God, dude. And in my head, I was like, oh, this is like, you know, first grade, first grade through eighth grade, and they're all just running together. Well, it, a, what's up? Uh, the first or eighth? That's very different. But dude, I understand. But it was so many people. Like I'm like, who the hell's running cross country? Like I, it's a it's a smaller sport. The line, I'm not shitting you, must have been like probably 70, 80 kids and two like two to three lines. So whatever, let's say 300 kids. And the line that she showed me was first grade through third grade. All of those kids are running. It was wild. It's the cutest thing in the fucking world because these these kids are wearing like um. Speedy glasses, yeah, dude. So wearing like these speedy glasses, long socks. Are they actually they're good, or is it like when kids are like in kindergarten and trying to play soccer and they miss the the soccer ball and kick their friend Leroy? <laughs> dude, my nephew who I've seen like run is like like very. He has a lot of endurance and his his form's good. Like I'm like, oh, this kid, this kid's gonna like be an athlete. So he's mm -hmm. like for real good. Um, but these kids, dude, like my, I mean, he's like, you know, the difference between a first grade and a third grade is like so much in terms of development, but he was like middle of the pack, but these kids are for real good. That's like, cool. yeah, I, I, I don't know, man, but like running cross country that early is kind of wild. And I, I six is crazy. Six. I don't even know if I knew my own name at six. No, no. I was smoking hookah with my dad at six. <laughs> <laughs> what well, flavor is this? Lucky Charms. Six years old? Lucky Charms underrated. So good. Even the little fucking, the pieces that aren't marshmallows, still good. I could fuck with e everything and not marshmallows. Well, that's a dumb take. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I have a soundboard yet? Dumb take. You know those places in the mall that sell like <laughs> cereal and milk? Oh, I hate those. What the fuck what are we that? doing? They sell like cereal and milk at the mall. It's like, get whatever kind of cereal you want. You walk in there, they're just like blasting like a two chain song. You're like, why, why does this need to be like hype beast with like cereal? I've never seen this. I don't know. They're, they're the places that just serve cereal. Is it like good cereal or their own? It, well, cereal? they have like of every brand you can think of. Okay, good. So actual brands. I thought they were like, hey, check yeah, out but my like, Almond you... Joy brand. Oh. If you're eating Almond Joy, I think you have to have erectile dysfunction to enjoy Almond Joys. <laughs> Instead of that's my dad's favorite candy. Oh, can I say it? I think my dad's coming on next week. Yeah, my dad's yeah. gonna be a, a guest on the podcast. That's gonna be so fun. I'm nervous. Dude. I think I'm gonna cry. Good. I won't cry. Are you gonna interview? Yeah, really? I'm putting a suit on. You have to ask all the questions though. I will. I'm gonna put a whole list together because I'm gonna I, give them to Gabe. Because I can't be like, what position was I conceived in? Well, I'll tell you the answer. Missionary. But I can't <sighs> be the one. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't got, like. I don't. Buddy, I got it. My dad asked me. He's like, "What are we gonna talk about?" I was like, "Sex." 
Sex. Stiff socks. The podcast. What do you sex. think we're going to talk about? The oh. Galapagos Islands? Sex. Do you shave your ass? I'll tell you how your dad's Do you shave my ass? I, I still got 9,000 pages. <laughs> I can't wait. Shave your ass? It's going to be smooth as silk. Damn. Yeah, like a stick People of are just going to comment on the video of my dad and be like, yeah, cool. This is wholesome. We want Riley Reed. What the fuck is this? Should we just, okay. <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, working on we're it. In the, is she doing yeah. it? Huh? Is she doing it? Hmm? We have a date? We don't got a date, but it's in the works. Let's go. Dude, I'm going to lose my mind. You need to be in a ghillie suit for that one. You need to be hiding, <laughs> hiding behind that plant to your left. You need to not even be in the room for that one. Hold up. God damn. Blue Cock chew. time. <laughs> Bitch, it's motherfucking blue chew. But it's a hoo chew. It's a blue chew. What is a blue chew? I'll tell you what it is. What? It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. All right. But in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost for your cunt. And what does it do, dude? It makes you rocked up. And gives Hard. You endurance. H-A-R-D. Hard. Most people listen to this podcast go, hey, man, I don't have a problem getting hard. Yeah? Yeah? What about round two? What about round three? What about round four? What if the part you're, what that you're about with love? wants to go? Fuck love. Get your <laughs> cock hard. That is the name of the fucking game, dude. If your partner's a freak and wants to go round nine, guess what? We have a chewable tablet for you, okay? And you don't got to go to goddamn CVS. Nope, you don't got to write it. We no. deliver it in discreet packaging. It's incredible, and dude. Guess what? The, 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 whoa, those were words. <laughs> I misfired. And guess what they're delivering? What? Not only a package, but a free package. You just pay for the shipping, but the first month of Blue Chew is actually free. Dog, I'm what? sorry. So you're saying the first month is free. All I have to do is pay for shipping to get five a hard bucks. cock? Just five bucks, dude. Little Caesars pizza, hard cock. What do you want? A uh, bone. I want a hard uh, cock with a hard pizza. Yep. That's porn. Now that's right. DiGiorno. Hold on. Get your cock hard. BlueChew.com. So we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code socks, socks promo code socks yeah dude bluechew.com yep for more details and important safety information go to bluechew.com we also thank bluechew for sponsoring the podcast god damn knock knock who's there uh hey how, hey what's up who's this fresh all right no you're supposed to say hello fresh oh sorry I'm i'll fresh. go again all right let's go again but are we still in the ad or no uh well let's yeah we're still now let's do it again okay okay hello I'm fresh. Hello? You're I don't get the game. You're supposed to say my name. Say hello, fresh. Oh, okay. Let's go again. <laughs> hello? Hey, I'm fresh. Hello, fresh. That's an ad. <laughs> <laughs> we probably just lost the sponsor. But hey, <laughs> hello, fresh. Dude, I love these people. And honestly, dude, I... It, when I'm home and I have it at home, I feel I get excited to cook because I know I have everything. I have to go. Do I have paprika? Do I have somebody to hold me at night? <laughs> I get so excited because I don't have to go like, do I have pa paprika? Do I have lemon? Do I have, you know, ginger halibut? You know, it's like they just send you everything. <laughs> what? Halibuts can't be ginger. No, it could. <laughs> it could be. But they send you everything you need to the per perfect proportion you don't gotta worry about it. it's fun mm. and if you're dating somebody yep. boom easy date night if you're not dating somebody boom you got leftovers tomorrow for meal prepping dude i feel like a chef every single time i cook man i don't know how to cook anything um but they give you the right amount of ingredients it's a super that. easy streamlined recipe and when you're done you're like oh my bad i'm freaking wolfgang cuck <laughs> title Inside of an ad read? <laughs> there is always something new on the menu from family friendly to fit and wholesome or even veggie recipes. Okay, there's something to please everyone. Okay, you can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading to choice proteins. Okay, it's incredible. And everyone's here. Hey, man, why don't you just tell us how to get it? I will, okay? Go to HelloFresh.com slash Sox65 and use code Sox65 for 65% off. Holy shit. Plus free shipping. Oh, my goodness. The last one was a different code, so listen up. HelloFresh.com slash Sox65. Dude, that's strike three. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, check it out. They have <clears throat> so many meals that you get to pick from. They're not just sending you random shit. Yep. So you get to pick. It's kind of fun. You're at a, you're at a restaurant, but you don't got the pressure yeah. of somebody being like, oh, did they get the scallops? Oh, did they get the cooked Zamboni broccoli? You can just pick what you want. 
So go to HelloFresh.com slash Sox65. Use code Sox65 for 65% off plus free shipping. God damn. Um, yeah, I don't what know. What the hell? Hold on. We're talking about Ron. What were we talking about right before that? You said my take's dumb. Ron, cereal. The cereal. cereal, the cereal, cereal, cereal in the mall. Part. Mall yeah. cereal. cereal the mall, I don't know. Yeah. I just think that's just something that it's just like, how do we, it's the same thing that where they make the food truck with the peanut butter and jelly. I know you like it, but what it's like. I want to make my own. All right. That's one of my dreams. It's been done. You, that's your dream? Yeah. Don't make fun of my dream. <laughs> they don't pick, but they don't have it right. The number they one have, thing on your vision board right now. <sighs> peanut butter and jelly truck? No. I don't know. So wait, what is this truck you want to? <laughs> You want to have a peanut butter and jelly food truck? Yeah, but I want to have it like... What's it going to be your, called? Smuckers? No, it's going to be called your mom's peanut butter and jelly sandwich truck. <laughs> kind of... It's going to be called time. your mom's. I'm not even joking. Because mm-hmm. I want it to feel... I want the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that when you eat it, I want it to feel like, you, like you're six years old again. You're eating like a sandwich from before. You know what? Soccer I want practice. It to, I want it to hate. <clears throat> Wholesome. Yeah. Ziploc, brown bag. 100%. No, did your mom write you... No, yep. Really? Yeah. I did too. I love what it. What about you guys? <coughs> Not box? really, no. Ugh. Oh, that's yeah. why it's a heroin. No, <laughs> never. Never. Well, that's why you Dude, need to do betterhelp.com. Be, <laughs> <laughs> guys, everyone tell Jack to do betterhelp.com. But it would be like, have a great day at school, sweetie. Yeah, I love you, mom. Yeah. But you know Wholesome. what? Wholesome. I know, dude. As I got older, like I would like read them. Like when I was younger, I'd read them out and open whatever. But when I got older. Embarrassed? Yeah, but it was fucked up. Like she would put on construction paper. It was so cute. And sometimes you fold it cool, like write like calligraphy, like, you know, and I'd open it up all like, uh, yeah. like, like a scared little bitch. Because you don't want your friends to see? Yeah. There's so much judgment in high school. You're just any, anything to not look like a pussy. I, there's part of me that wishes I can go back with like my brain to like to high school and then just shit on everybody. They're like, oh, your fucking mom's reading that? Shut the fuck up. You haven't seen your, your dad's in prison. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I want to have that ability. I wish but- I just. I wish I had like a guy on my shoulder who would just be like, "Hey, you, you don't worry about that guy. Hey, don't worry about that girl. They're, 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 them rejecting you or them not talking to you doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, you didn't make this team doesn't matter. Right? Yes, but also like all <clears throat> that made you who you are now. Yeah. Because if you had a person be like, "It's okay," the then God. you're like, "Oh, it's yeah. okay." Oh God. Damn. Well, th- bring that, her up again. That that's why when people are like, "If you could go back and change one thing," I hate interview questions. By the way. Yeah. If you could go back and change one thing, well, I can't. So shut up. Next question. Let me guess. Pistachio ice cream. Yeah, I I just want interview to cut people off. Just- so if you're a comedian, shut up. <laughs> Ask a better question. Ask a better question right now. Let's have fun with this. Let's have fun with this fucking interview. Who's your influence? My left hand. Yep. <laughs> Baby oil. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I wouldn't want to know why. No, I know? wouldn't. I wouldn't want to know at all. I would like to go back to like, uh, what grade? Let's say like, I would like to go back to like freshman of high school with my like basketball ability right now and just play one game. <laughs> I just want to score like 30 and then just, and then disappear and then go back to now. Yeah, but it would be funny if I'd scored five points. (laughs) But your life would have changed so dramatically because you would have scored 30 points. Every girl would be like, I have to fuck him. He's so good at basketball. Yeah, but but that already happened, dude. Really? Did you get I got two words, bro. Rafferty Center. Okay. I got a few more words. What? Did you ever get laid from playing basketball? Yes. Dude, my my, my school school was like very like a sports oriented school. Were you JV or varsity? Varsity. How many years? Uh, two. I played a uh, junior and senior. And you balled? Yeah. Hard? I balled. Hard is aggressive. Wait, wait, wait were, Fine. You, were you starting or? No, no, no. What? You were getting pussy off bench? Yeah, dude. Uh, two, <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is a funny concept. <laughs> this is a very funny concept. <laughs> this what is a the very funny concept. Fuck? Dude, were my football sp- players not available? No, I mean, they were, but they weren't shit. But I think the, the like, basketball... I mean, my school was very basketball and football oriented. So if you basketball just play, more condensed, <clears throat> it's also less like, people on a team, less people, and also like, uh, you can you're seen all the time. Your calves like, are showing. Yeah, but football, like arms. you have a helmet on, all that kind of shit. Yeah, but like basketball, there's 13 of us, and they're always, you know. But yeah, yeah. What, do you remember like your best game, like your stats, triple double? What are we talking? No, I actually don't. What position were you? Point guard. Oh. Point guard is like the lead singer of the band, right? You're like the guy. Some, sometimes, or center. Sometimes shooting guard. It, depends, it really it depends. actually depends on the team. It depends. I mean, you could be... It depends on if you're just like... Because you can be the leader of the band. You just have, It doesn't matter what position. If you're just the best, then you're like, oh, that's... Uh, uh, okay. Okay. But point guard is where people tend to look first. 
Well, yeah, because you bring the ball down. Right, but like game starting. All right, get the ball to Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the kind. You're the or conductor. Yeah, orchestrator. Is that a word? That's Check a word. It you got it. it. Somebody. Uh, Gabe is literally doing like a like an Gabe's online doing test a Sudoku right puzzle on <laughs> heroin. Yeah, sorry, there's a lot going on over here. Really? Oh, yeah. What's happening? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah no, we're good. I'm just. Uh, I'm. I was trying something. Oh, all right. I did. It might be cool if it works. Interesting. Hundred percent. He's signing for T-Mobile right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you walk around campus with like a little basketball swag, like a little like, yeah. hobby on? Yeah, especially on game day because on game day, game day, because on Bruh. game game day they let us wear. Uh, you're gonna make fun of me, but they let us wear blazers, and just imagine we had like uniforms, right? So anything that the oh, school that allows wasn't. you to wear that pushed you away from everyone, you look cool shit. So they let us you let us wear out. like sick blazers, yeah. And I went Bla to like, what you wear like blazers and like dickies? What are we talking? No, same same uniform. So we had khakis, uh, like dress shoes. And then you like have a foot shirt, this, you? shirt, tie, probably. No, I definitely do somewhere. Yeah. Shirt, shirt, tie, and then I'd wear like a jacket. But like no one was allowed to wear jackets unless it was game day. So every so there's third cold. What's up? No, not, no, no, no. Like like uh, like sport jackets. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking like yeah, suit, like yeah, suit yeah, jackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like master's jacket. 100. percent Yeah. But ever I remember, dude, I try to do anything I could to just look different, especially in even in that context. So I went to I went to like Goodwill. Second reference to Goodwill. I went to Goodwill. And uh, I got like this like camel hair, like gray, gray and like burnt orange jacket just to, it just to be what just it was like it looked wild. Mm -hmm. And I wear like a wild tie just to just. And how'd you play that night? That I mean, I, there was a jacket I wore oh, every game. Oh, day. really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I didn't have like a slew of jackets. Did you have offers for basketball? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Offers for I was pussy? Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was. I played golf. It was, golf was like more my sport. Basketball and golf? Yeah. I'm Damn. an athlete, bro. Did you ever get laid off of golf? Uh, I mean, no. Yeah, that's crazy. Because there's no audience. There's no audience. Also, golf was not big in my school. Like, no one gave a fuck. I don't know if it's golf. big in any school. Like, it definitely is in the no. golf world. But no girl's like, oh, my God, is that Rory? Oh, like in professional? Professional, but I'm saying when he was coming up. I think so, dude. I think if you, like... Because if it's it, televised, to be good at to be good good at golf, you're good since you were like ten. But so right, so you're playing in tournaments, like you're playing like the U.S. amateur. So when when you're that good, there's a buzz around you. Do you know what I mean? Because like we weren't really a tennis school, but we had one tennis player that was fucking gross. So you have buzz. Like someone's like, yo, that dude's. Third but it's like, nation. but 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 the buzz between golfers, football is crazy. If there's a guy who's getting <laughs> looked at by fucking North Dakota State, they're like, whoa, that's Jackson. There's right. a little bit of buzz. But right. for golf, there's no buzz because nobody's really watching at the school. I'm saying in that community of golf, they know it. But well, what I'm saying is, if you are, if you are like, we had one tennis player at our school that was, I forget where he went, but he was like nasty. So there was buzz around him because everyone knew. No one gave a fuck about tennis, uh, but everyone knew who was he was. Okay, ranked they didn't the have to watch one game. To Correct. Know. So okay, you're walking I guess that's around the what I'm saying. Yeah, you're walking around campus, being like that motherfucker. This you. Don't, I, I don't know anything about tennis, yeah. but I knew that he was. And so so did okay. everyone else. That it's the same thing. With, like if you watch the Tiger Woods documentary, like no one went to go watch him play, but, but there was knew. buzz around him because everyone okay. was like that dude is. So in high school, he got. I guess in my head. They had to watch the game to understand the hype behind them. Versus basketball and football always had an audience. Even right, volleyball. Right, 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 right. Anywhere where it's a controlled like student section to know. But I, but I guess there's also those people that were like, oh, yeah, they're really good at blood. Because yeah, also high school, there's, you, you, to spread a rumor takes like uh, a fucking one hour. Yeah. So one person is like, oh, that dude's in ESPN magazine. Everyone's losing their fucking mind. Right. I remember one kid in sixth grade, he was an extra on, or he was a stunt double in let me uh, let me snick it. What's that? Series of unfortunate. Yeah, events. it wasn't Jim Carrey in that. Yep, yep. Yeah, he yeah. was a stun double in that, and he left for like a month, and he came back, and the whole school knew within yeah. seconds. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure he was like the first guy to like receive some sexual favor from a woman. One hundred percent. I swear to God, dude. One hundred percent. He got jerked off behind a Dave and Buzzers, and but, and it was dude, he based like, on let me snick it. Dude, he downplayed. He's like, yeah, you know, like I just do stunts and shit, you know. So cool. I was like, what? I just learned how to do an Ollie this weekend. <laughs> Why is the wind blowing me? <laughs> that guy's smoking fucking Mountain Dew behind something <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not doing great. Oh, He's wow. He's not doing great. God. Smoking Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew. It's so good. I thought There's you were about, nothing to, wrong I thought you were about to go opposite direction. No, sir. No, so sir. Good. Code Red. 
I'll beat you guys up right now for a sip of code red. You do seem like a code red guy to me. Big. Game fuel, kill everyone. <laughs> What's kill. the blue Mountain Dew? Voltage. I love Voltage, that. That's, that's my fucking one. shit. Yeah. It's ah. on my tour rider. It, I literally have it at shows. Really? Yeah. That's great. I like said it jokingly, and then uh, I the, mat, the tour manager was like, I can make that happen. And one city didn't have it. He's like, hey, I'm so sorry. I don't have it. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> and you're saying Boise, Idaho, you fucking. <laughs> there, was, there was one you ever like had that feeling of someone be apologizing you're like oh i don't i i couldn't give a fuck less but they come at you like it's such a big there was like what i forget what club it was but they apologized profusely for not bringing in the uh the fruit in like a quote-unquote timely manner or whatever and i was like oh my god it doesn't matter at all but yeah. they're so used to like you know entertainers losing their fucking yeah, mind yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god dude i don't don't ever bring the fruit. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. I feel like, I feel bad. All I need is water and some coffee and I'll be like, sure. Yeah. Water, coffee and whatever the hell. You know? I've been really pushing the five-hour energy lately and they've been like really, they've been like great about it. That's awesome. It's just, it's not, it's nice so I don't have to fucking worry about it. So I just go well, in Well, yeah, you, the there. last thing you want to do is be like heading to a show. I'm like, where's a fucking gas station? Oh, I'm like, which I've had to do with my city. whole, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, what the hell are we talking? We were talking about high school, getting blown for sports, something. I had something. I was wearing a burnt Santa jacket. And then you're uh, getting laid off the bench. Laid off the bench. Laid off the bench is crazy. What idiot? We're talking about fuck golf. High on the bench. A lot of people. Okay, I'm just dude, I remember. Dude, I remember. I ran. I was running uh, track and I had my shirt off. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Were you jacked in back in high school? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, jacked as a 14 year old boy can be. You know about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting thing to say. But, dude, I mean, like, I thought I was jacked in high school. Like, I wore you cut-off weren't? t-shirts, and you I wasn't. Weren't. I saw one bicep band. I was like, well, sleeves, Bye. sayonara. <laughs> I don't know what it is about. Just, like, you start working out for, like, a day, and you're like, oh, interesting. I'm either going to buy the tightest shirt in the world, yep. cut the sleeves off, one or the other. God, dude, that, that fucking, like, nine months I took D-ball, I was like, oh, I'm a superhero. <laughs> Everyone moving away. I have fought a refrigerator. I don't give a shit. <laughs> God. I want to do it again. D-ball? I want to do a cycle of D-ball just to get fucking yoked for one podcast. Do it. It'd be so fun. Why not? You know, that's what's funny about being an adult. Do it. You can do it. Are steroids illegal still? I don't think, uh, I mean, I don't know anything, but I think it's funny. It would be so funny to do just like a, what is it called? A cycle? Yeah, like a cycle of D-ball. Just get jacked. Just walk around, just breaking microphones. Just getting angry for no reason. Someone heckles me. Just go, <laughs> I just go on the ground and fight him. They're like, what the fuck, man? We watch your clips online. This would be <laughs> nice to me. <laughs> it's definitely still legal. It's legal or illegal? Legal. Legal. Uh, legal, you can do it. Really? Mm -hmm. Where do you buy it? I remember when I was at GNC filming a sketch. The guy was like, "Yo, I sell them. If you need it, I, I got it. But like they weren't on the shelf or anything? No, no, no. Okay. it was out of the trunk of like a Nissan Leaf. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, I don't even know where you get that shit made. A what Nissan is it? Leaf. <laughs> That's a car. Someone... Do you so know how many people said yes to that the, the name? A lot. So many cars. Ugliest car you can think of. Race that go. Uh, a Prowler. What is it? A Plymouth Prowler. Plymouth. They don't make those anymore, do they? I know. You ever seen a Pontiac Aztec? Yep. Dumb. Those. That's the car that uh, Walter White drove, right? I don't know. You don't watch anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, is it, yeah, wasn't it? Is, it? Yeah, it yeah. Is. No, dude. You you actually with uh, Breaking Bad? You never watched it? No. Oh, dude, you, you of all people would fucking love it. Really? I think you would really love it. I saw Aaron Paul at a smoothie shop one time. Aaron Paul is That's he... basically watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny comedy podcast. He's a short lad. Yeah. He really hot, oh, yeah. He's like 5'6". Yeah, what a short bitch. He can act, man. Oh, he's great What actor. happened to his career? He's still doing shit. He's in a... Uh, he's an Apple show, right? Yeah. No, he, was, he was on like a Hulu show, which was not good. He was like the uh, like a like a cult leader or something. It was I was so excited because it was his first role. Do you think like, he was getting typecasted of... just because of Breaking Bad? It's, it's so far after he's done from Breaking Bad. I don't think so. It's, so he's still doing it though. Still acting? Yeah, I mean I'm sure he's yeah. still acting. But what what is he what is he doing recently? I mean, he, uh, I know he was in a movie recently. He's so like good a, though. Like an indie sci-fi that looks really good called okay. uh, fucking. You know he wasn't supposed to be in the show, right? Breaking Bad. He was supposed to be in like the first. I I. I might be misspeaking, but I think he might have literally supposed to have been in the first episode, like the pilot. Or maybe, and then just crushed it and they're like, Boom. Yeah. Because I think he might he might have had like a three episode a lot, arc right? or something. And the chemistry was so bananas, they were like, well, let's just keep him in. 
Well, he did BoJack Horseman. He's, right. He's right. in Westworld. Oh, um, both. Oh, he's in, oh, he's crushing. My bad. Yeah. I forgot he's in Westworld. Yeah, he's BoJack doing, he's Horseman doing is so lot. funny. You ever seen it? I've seen parts of it. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's one of the better animations. I actually don't. I don't think Trevor would love Breaking Bad. I think if, really? he, if he was able to like really sit down and give it a chance, but it's kind of a slow burn. I feel like it takes some. You know what but I mean? But it's so yeah. worth it, bro. Yeah. Like, I think I think if you like said hello telephone cell phone, you're gonna go in the bathroom for a second, and I'm just gonna watch this. Well, my I, phone goes into the bathroom. Oh I'm no! I'm coming. <laughs> God. Oh, guys, guys, guys! Uh -oh. Big news. Come update. Big news. What if I just did my saying up down tour dates? <laughs> no. Uh, I got a monitor, like a bigger monitor. Hold up. Yeah. And what did you monitor? And the second my girlfriend decided to do an errand, oh, hey. oh, I did an errand myself. She went to grab something and you went to grab something. Cock. Cock. Dude, it was, it was great. We should do a comedy, give it to me. We should do a comedy <laughs> podcast. So, dude, oh my God, you're, on your, you're on your phone like an idiot. Dude. I'm all about convenience. Buddy, what the I jerk fuck? off like a Swiss army knife. All right. What? Nothing? Funny. <laughs> I'd like to say this. So on on the the, the monitor I have the I whole time I talked about goth porn, none of this registered with you. I didn't remember. I'm sorry. I just literally just looked up there and I thought about it. Sorry. Mm. How Anyways. big is monitor? Oh, go ahead. I'll stop interrupting. Oh, oh so on the uh, the fucking monitor, you can do. I mean, I'm sure there's all technology. You guys are like no shit. But I never done. You can do split screens. So I'm sitting there two fucking screens. You, you can gooner? you can do split screen on a normal laptop. Too. I know, but it's, it's too small. Mm. Uh, you Dude. gooning it? Oh, gooning it, dog. A, yeah, he's a goon goon carrier, I was dog. fucking gooning it, and I was in like on a desk chair. Did you have headphones in? Yes, I did. I was so scared. What I, errand did your girl do? The DMV at bro. fucking <laughs> noon? Dude, I had- I was How so, long was she gone? I was so scared. I had one- Dude, isn't that the worst? One in, one you're like out. nervous to like- And I left- You're nervous about coming? Dude, I, I Honey, locked- I forgot my phone. I locked- just gooned <laughs> up. I locked both- you, locks on my, on the front door. You don't think she doesn't have a lock of key? But I need I need all the time in the it. world. But if she knew your home and she felt one unlock, she'd be like, "That's interesting." She felt another one unlock. She go, "Oh, he gooning." Maybe she's gooned Go before in front of me. <laughs> Not in front, but like in the in the bedroom. The goon squad. We gotta come up with some type of like if there's a if there's like a, a tie on the door. I'm jerking my cock. Yeah, yeah, something for yours. It would be like a fishnet or something. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Just I try to think of something a, funnier. Didn't... A blood splat. There you go. So double locked up. Double locked up. One air locked pod up, in. cocked up. One air pod. One. Because I was nervous. I so I left the right one open so I could hear everything, and I left the the office door open. You guys don't share each other's location, do you? No. Nah. That's the time where it's helpful. Oh fuck. If she's still at Barnes and Noble, you ain't even got to lock the door. Fuck it. Open it. That is a great, great, great point. Well, Ask for her location. Well, don't share yours. Well, it's about to happen. That's a great point. I I literally text her three different times. I was like, "So, what's your plan? When are you um uh this fucking bo yeah that like I mean that's I think we're just used to it because that's how we were raised with our parents. Yeah. Mom's like, "I'm gonna go to CVS. Do you anything?" You're like, "Which CVS? Yeah, the one in Old Town or the one down the street or the one in Wisconsin." <laughs> I need to know how much time I got. I think parents knew when they were asking that question. 100%. If I tell my chun, I almost said child, then son. Chun. <laughs> if I tell my child that I'm leaving somewhere and he asks any questions, mm -hmm. you're touching yourself. 100%. You're touching yourself. Dude, I'm asking my mom. I'm going to the mailbox. Uh, Which one? Do you need, are you getting a package or are you getting envelopes? How, what's your walk back speed? Because I'm fucking this couch. <laughs> Why would I ever think it was okay to fuck a couch? I don't know, but I did it. <laughs> we all did. You, like, my couch is my fucking whore. I would ride that bitch like I didn't, I didn't even give ride it, it. I didn't give it reverse money. POV. Yo, I picked it up one time. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's been a light ass couch. IKEA. I'm strong, dude. So, oh, one earbud in. Goon squatting it. <laughs> two fucking two screens up. Two screens up. Two screens, two so, different porns. So we're talking laptop or just split screen? On? Split screen on the monitor. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do monitor and the laptop. I just got the monitor. I don't know how to work it yet. Two different porns on the fucking monitor. It was insane. Where's your phone? Who gives a fuck about my dumb phone? 
probably in the fucking, who cares? It's outside, whatever. Could have been gooning it. I could have been gooning it. So, two, oh, it was so nice. Because you got split screen, you got two different bitches. You got two different <laughs> vulvas. Got two mouths, two cocks. Get this, four tits. Four tits, two cocks, two mouths. Here's the thing. I had one screen, girl POV sucking my dick. I said my dick. I know what I said. And the other... <laughs> And the other one, double blowjob. I had three bitches. That's what's so funny about porn. How many women you want? You watch women milking udders for porn, dog. You had three yep. cocks on I there? Had th- no, no. Two cocks, three ladies. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah. That's, that, dude, that's, that's a porn I'm getting into. Just double blowjob. Because you're just pretending it's you? Yes, sir. Yes. I even talked to it. So, yeah, get it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Siri's like, what was that? <laughs> Not for you, bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I just, oh yeah. So, so you be you watching this, and that just does it for you. Let me tell you something. Remember how I said goth for four years, you didn't give a fuck. Now you clicked one okay. and you're into it. Valid. Do the double blowjob. Valid. You the the problem with the double blowjob is when you go back to the single, you go, hey. Something seems to be missing. I think y'all forgotten appetizer here, chilies. Yeah, what the hell? I just got jalapeno poppers. I order quesadillas too. You're sitting like you're about to get your ass ate. I would like it. Well, I my I can feel my butt. Re- it's there's hair in there. I gotta in get in there. Yeah, I haven't given it the old trim trim in a little bit. Yeah, it's a little little foresty. Feels like mm. a pine cone stuck in there. Manscape. That's what I'm saying. Betterhelp.com. Insert all the ads. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we get into a little uh, sock talk? Yeah. Sock talk. Uh, sock talk. Talk Six to my sock. sock. Yeah, let's start with the sock talk here. This is a. Somebody asked me the other day why we call it sock, uh, s- stiff socks. I was like, "What do you think?" <laughs> yeah, I what can't. Do you think if I have to explain it to you, don't listen. <laughs> it is true. If you don't know the the example of uh-huh. what it is, yep. you can't explain it. No. Well, there's semen in a Reebok tube sock. Yeah, I hate. What type of sock is it? Whatever it's usually a tube sock, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say, but is there a brand that, that comes to mind? Come, come. Probably Hanes. Like, this is literally semen. Yeah. And people, oh, what is this? It's come. When the guy walked past our office the other day, yeah. I told you guys, but not the podcast. The guy goes, "Are you a part of the stiff sock office? What, what do you What do you guys sell over there? What What do you come here? Yeah, come here. Sit down. You ready to sweat from your areolas? Sit, Sit down. The fuck down. Sit down. I'll tell you exactly what it is. I'll tell you right now. Here's a flashlight from Kendra Sunderland herself. Enjoy it. I haven't tried one of those in a while. A flashlight? Yeah, when's the last time you jerked your cock with a flashlight? Been a minute. Yeah. But I will say there was one in our storage. You took it? I'm about to take her home tonight. Is it the butthole one? Yeah. Yeah, I got to fuck the butthole one. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll bring it back. It's Blockbuster. Cockbuster. Title? Hey, maybe. I think there's another one. It doesn't matter. If I use it after you, is that okay? It's like in fine. the world of... It's fine. Yeah. It's just like using someone else's fork. Like, there's a bunch of forks yeah. at my house. It's, what what are those things called? You're going to use a fork that I've used before. What are those things called? Where you chop your fingers on it? Chinese, Chinese finger drill? Fing- no, not fire drill. No, That's where the car. Chinese handcuffs. Yeah, it's like that. Except you're not on the other side. Correct. And then you put your finger on the other side. I think my side. example is much better. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, because you'd use Gabe, a fork. cut it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? All right, sock talk. If we don't have merch, the next merch shop that says Gabe Cut It, I'll cut myself. Go ahead. Uh, there's been some good merch in this. Gothic. Solid. Yeah. Gothic. Gothic. That's the title. Yeah. yeah. And the, there's like a the really, merch. a goth lady with like real great body, but instead of a goth lady face, mm-hmm. it's yours. Or it's like a photo of like a casket, and then there's space from the back of the ass. Cass ask it. I'm running low on fumes here. <laughs> it's fine. My my check engine light's been on for a minute now mentally, and uh, you know we're just gonna get into some sock talk. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is uh, a <laughs> this is a good one. This is from Thomas who says my girlfriend jerks me off with her feet while I eat her out. It's pretty awesome. I'm sorry. How in the hell? What in the twisters is, going on here? Yeah, I don't what, even. What, what? So the it, auntie Anne's pretzels happening. Uh, girlfriend jerks him off with her feet. Got it. While he eats her out. It's not what? real. Wait. Oh, hold up, hold up. So she's like, so she's like this, reverse that, and he's, so he's I mean, he has to be super flexible. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's like this. 
Or no, what if she's sitting on top of him? Like Could she's be sitting on his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, like they're both facing the same way. What? Her, she's like sitting on his face like this. Her feet are facing this way. She's doing this. He's underneath. Oh, okay. The old glass bottom boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There that doesn't it is. make any sense. Yeah, it does. Because you're on the ocean looking down and the ocean looking up. Wait, what? Because you're looking it's down the, at the ocean the and the ocean is ever. looking up at the boat. The ocean is look up. He's eating vagina. I got that. So and he's, he's looking so up. He's so he's the ocean. Boy? The boat is her. Okay. And the glasses are cooter and sitting on feet? his face. What are, what are her, feet? her feet? Barnacles? I don't fucking know, dog. <laughs> Uh yeah well the feet no the feet are the front of the boat. Fish are real, <laughs> isn't that insane? Fish don't know chickens exist. That's crazy, dude. Fish are just chickens out of the sea. They have gills. First of all, fish can like get oxygen out of the ocean. Weird, stupid. And there's fish that's not even been discovered in the ocean. That's wild. What the fuck? Do Alien. they know that? What? Do they know that? They're like, bitch, I've been a- I've been around. You're not gonna validate me. Do you think they're pissed that they haven't been discovered? Well, every once like, in a while. Like underground rappers are like, fucking sign me. Yeah, let me blow up. Yeah. That's true. They see a goldfish, like fucking mainstream pussy sellout. Are goldfish just like golden retrievers of the water? 100%. I'll take it. Yeah. Catfish? But, but like every once in a while, there'll be an article, it'll be like an ugly ass fish, and be like this new fucking scuba land fish fuck was discovered in the coast. Who cares? I bet you that fish is pissed. Yeah. Now they're going to be. What is that? He always says an LED bulb on his head. The fuck's he looking and for? He never goes out. He is looking for pussy. <laughs> 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 In the nightclub. <laughs> hey! What the hell? That would be funny. The nightclub, you wore those one of the things that you're going like uh, rock climbing on top of your head. Yeah. And just in the club like that. Well, just looking at bitches. Girls do that, but with a GoPro on the forehead and upload it to Pornhub.com. Then you watch it. <laughs> what? Female POV. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. watched it. <laughs> Can I tell you guys? <laughs> I blacked out. All right. All right. Secret talk time. Secret talk. Uh, anonymous submission says, this <laughs> says, the first time I jerked off in a tractor. I had nothing to clean up with except a piece of paper. Jesus Christ. I would hope you didn't have anything with that you on a tractor. Like a fucking farmer's only bio. <laughs> <laughs> but what was the piece of paper? Like the like the instructions, the insurance card? Yeah, it's gotta be registration. Also, a tractor, no doors. Come out the window. Yeah, come on the corn. Fertilize. Corner. You're gonna come on the crops? Come on the corn. Yeah. No. Corn on the come? Corn on the come? <laughs> Close? Why yeah, but- we're <sighs> come on the flannel. On yeah. a tractor. That's what I'm saying. There's so many exits you could have gone. Just take your John Deere hat off and come in it. <laughs> Do farmers wear cowboy hats or that's like conflicting cultures? I don't know what they wear. Farmers? I have no idea. I don't know. I've never met a... Have I ever met a, Yeah, I have met a farmer. They're like the nicest people in the fucking world. Are farmers only really be... People really be like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, there is something hot about a farmer chick. Uh, okay. Some hot about there's also some hot about a uh, cowboy lady, or however you're supposed to label it, cow woman, cow girl. <laughs> yep. My mom literally. I was talking to my mom on the way to the studio, and she says, "Guess what, Michael? I'm going to sign up to cuddle a cow." What? And yep. Why? You heard what I said. I do not know. She's like, you literally. She's like, there's a farm by our house that you can sign up and cuddle cows. She's like, cows. Or uh, the puppies, they're like puppies. Or there's actual puppies. Yeah. I think it'd be kind of fun to cuddle a cow. They're just big. But it's funny. If it's like if it was anybody but your mom, I'd like want to hate it. But it's your yeah. mom. And you're like, yeah, have fun. Yeah. Be happy. Man, if you cuddle a cow, you get thirsty. You just drink some milk. <laughs> Do they always have milk? I don't think you can just drink milk out of tits. You got to pasteurize that shit. The cow ones? Yeah. It's like illegal to drink unpasteurized milk. Really? Like, like legit illegal. They probably do that so people don't be fucking off a couple Michelobes being like, "Hey, <laughs> give me that dick. guys!" Holy shit, dude! Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. It means the world to us. Friendly reminder: we have a Patreon. You get four extra episodes, drops every Friday, ad free. Um, we have over 150 back catalog of episodes that are fire. We interview Gabe um, and. Plenty of other fucking fire episodes. Go on patreon.com black slash stiffsockspod. That is patreon.com.
backslash Sip Soccer Pod. Only five dollars a month for extra episodes. Um, it helps us out and it supports the pod, and we really appreciate it if you guys can do that. We also have Apple Plus, um, which gives the same bonus episodes but um, audio only. So definitely do that. The Apple or Patreon.com backslash Sip Socks Pod. We also have my dad next week. I'm pretty sure he's locked in if he can move around his Scrabble games and chess at the <laughs> park. He's gonna pull up. So maybe where should people ask questions that they want to ask my father? Um, we should put up a Instagram story. We'll with do an Instagram Sox story. So for him. follow the Instagram Sip Socks Pod if you don't already. Great clips. Yep. Not the pl- haircut plays. But there's great <laughs> clips on there. Stiff Socks Pod. My father's going to be on it. I'll probably cry. Just throwing it out there. But on a final note, we love you guys. And we want you to indulge in the Patreon because it is an extra episode every week. So check it out. It's the same funny, hilarious content that we put out weekly. So here's a quick little sneak peek of last week's Patreon. Dude, Bill Clinton got blown in the Oval Office and came on olive branches. That's when you know you're the man. Yeah. He played the saxophone, saxophone, grew up in Arkansas, got on Epstein's jet, <laughs> okay. did things we can't talk about. <laughs> Him and his wife killed about a thousand people probably. Let's not talk about that though. You know, let's just talk about him getting fucking blown, coming on dresses. Remember that? What? Remember that there's a cum dress. There's a cum dress? Yeah. What are you talking about? She came on her dress. Who? Bill Clinton came on a dress. You don't on- remember that? On Monica Lewinsky's on dress? On Monica Lewinsky's dress. And they were like, why is her cum on a dress? First of all, dry cleaners. <laughs> yeah, second of all. Yeah, well, I don't know why you What did she say it was? Did she deny it or was she like, I was getting- No, she was like, Krispy Kreme. She didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it came on the- was Gabe, is it like, break, am I like, misremembering this whole thing? No, I thought it's a real thing. I can't is this after? Oh, there that's it is. the dress? And they sold it on uh, eBay for $13 million. Holy Are shit. Are you for real? I'm joking. Uh, was this after like a formal event? Can we see what Monica looked like that night? She was bad. Really? Looks like that's them together. Offered $1 million by Las Vegas Sex Museum dress. Sell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here's what. I'm scraping some of the nut off and then I'm selling it. Yeah, I'm putting it. I'm putting it into like a little. Can you see what? God, Monica, that's a lot of cum. Yeah, there's no way that's it. That's, that's not, not it, real. dude. That presidential load. You know how stressed out you got to be to blow a load like that. Jesus. Easy. Do you know how much money you can sell Bill Clinton semen for? I mean, crazy. I mean, easily you could sell like the the island of Tahiti for the fucking. Cum. Get a couple board apes for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> can you type in Monica Lewinsky when when she? Oh, is that her down there? She, dude. Bottom right. Left is bad. I I DM right now. For real. All right, what's the what's the most the recent picture of her when she was beating Bill up? That's it. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. We get a little bigger look on Look at it? that. Look, look at that smile in his eyes. That's a man who's got a nut off. Look he, at that. He's, he's not so, doing it with his hands. Son, he don't have a tie on. Have you ever seen a president with a tie on? Dude, he just he used a tie to wrap it around her hands. Dude, he looks beat. like he was at a golf charity somewhere back in Arkansas. I'm not gonna lie, dude. She ain't hot. <laughs> Yeah, but like I think it was just one of those ways. Like, I just want to have a dirty night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you think you think you get horned up in a hotel? <laughs> in the Oval Office is the most horny place ever. Yeah, I, I feel like there's no air movement. It's very still, it's no. static. Yeah, you're looking at pictures of fucking Teddy Roosevelt the only in a goddamn chair. Yeah, the only time there's wind is when somebody sneezes too hard. Good for him. Has there ever been another president? I mean, the answer is yes. But has there been another president that got in trouble for this? Call on me. Yes, sir. I don't know. But there's cameras everywhere in the White House, right? Obviously, security. There has to be footage of him getting fucking domed up. In the 90s, though? I don't know. You, wait, they just went by instinct? I don't think Somebody broke like- in. Who was it? I don't know. He had a beanie on. <laughs> I feel like, but it's also a security issue to just be recording in there all the time. What about yeah, but, they, but they have to watch him and all given time. Well, maybe they just have guards or some shit. For to security. Gabe's point, dude, I do not think they have cameras in the... In the Oval Office, man. What? I don't yeah, think so. No way. Because they talk about wild shit in there. I yeah. know, but like, the they're situ- in control of it. The Situation Room? How do you order food in that room? They're talking about like- How do you post me to the White House? What is the address? 1-800-AMERICA? You know the address. It's a very famous address. <laughs> Gettysburg address? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Can you imagine if that was the address? The Gettysburg Address. Dude, Monster Energy Drink. Literally, there's this one monster way. They have their own street in fucking- Can you just do that? Irvine, I think. Our next level up, we're getting a street, <laughs> and it's called Cum Boulevard. 
Hope you enjoyed that little highlight. Always a good time over at patreon.com backslash Pod. One extra episode a week ad free. Suck my average cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the promo code. <laughs> it's a long promo code. Suck my average cock. Put it on a license plate. Average is such a long word. Good night.